Hi, my name's Dawn Davies and I am the head buyer for Whiskey Exchange. And my name is Miguel Smith. I am Global Brand Ambassador for Mount Gay Rum. And we are super excited today to be here to taste the new reincarnation of Black Barrel and XO. So, am should, I allowed to start? Yes, yeah, should we start with Black Barrel? Absolutely. Okay, so of course, when we taste rum, I think the first thing we need to do is kind of assess the nose. Um, and what you would find here is really all of the characteristics that are familiar if you know Mount Gay. So there is definitely some vanilla, there's definitely some banana, there's chocolate and coffee, and of course there's some nuttiness, so some mm. almonds. But Absolutely. not confined to those. Um, I think with Black Barrel especially, you have, because of that finishing process, there is that spice, the top spice note. Absolutely. I think it's a really nice sort of black pepper. I think you get some really lovely sort of almost... There is a minerality here, which I really love. There's a freshness and a vibrancy on the nose. You know, sure. and, and I think what I love about it is a hint of orange peel just yes. on the top note. And when you're tasting or nosing spirits, just be really careful. Bring it slowly up to your nose. Don't go, because all you'll just get is the alcohol. Just do it so, super gently. So the palate, I'm yeah. ready to taste. Let's, let's have a drop. So first, first drop, you really get that sensation of that temperature. Um, there's a warmth, yep. um, but you already get that spice and some fruit emerging straight away. And I think that vanilla comes through really beautifully on the palate, on the back palate. You know, this is, this is a rum that kind of comes in and it says hello and gives you a little bit of soft spice and then it travels down your palate and gives you that warmth here, but in a really gentle, soothing way. And that, that orange, that almond, I definitely get the almond on the palate Great. of this, that lovely soft spice. And texturally, it's just really lovely sort of mouth coating feel but also really cooling on the finish. You know, you get, I'm breathing in and I get this almost menthol. Sure, kind of, and, that, and that really is a Barbados rum. Um, I think if you, if you blind tasted a, um, a, an array of rums on a table, the one exactly what you just described really represents a, a, a Barbados rum and a Mount Gay style, is that approachability, um, lots and lots of fruit. Even the floral notes mm. are from the fruit plants. So it's interesting, you know, that we get orange peel well, versus orange lavender or orange blossom. Exactly. Mm, so, blossom. so there are these, these florals that are associated with fruit, um, but yet still those spices are there, those warm, I get ginger, some lychee, mm. you know, there really is some, yeah, absolutely. some complexity here. And then of course, from the second sip, it's more and more. It's very much um, Moorish, if I, if I can say that. More and more and more. Uh, and more and more and more. Um, and yeah, I think uh, the, the finish alludes to that spiciness and that lingering smoky aftertaste. And I think if you're someone that likes to drink a bourbon or something like that, this is a really nice in rum to kind of get dip your toe in the water if you haven't tried rum before. I think it's a really nice sort of balance between the two because you do get that vanilla, you do get that ripe sweetness, but it's still really complex. Yeah, so we call it the bridge. The but bridge. of course, when you cross the bridge, we burn the bridge because you have to <laughs> you stay won't go back. in the land of rum.